Hey, so today I'll be installing a program called Twilight Menu++ Plus uh, Plus, which helps me play NDS games on my 3DS and also I'll be using a program called um, NDS Folder which helps me create uh, those icons on my 3DS so I don't have to uh, go into the Twilight Menu and select the ROM every single time. Here I'm in the Universal Updater app, uh, so I'm going to search Twilight, so I can uh, download Twilight Menu++, Plus Plus, and then uh, I'm also going to search Forward, which uh, helps me get NDS Forwarder. Now we wait for it to download. Uh, it's pretty slow. Uh, I think it's got something to do with the program. I don't think it's my broadband. Uh, it's going at like 100 something K per second. Kind of brings back memories of, of using a 56K modem. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, I couldn't get 100K when I was using a modem. I was getting like 30K when I was downloading MP3s. Alright, once it's finished downloading, you can exit out of the program. And for me, I don't know why, uh, it, the, the Twilight Menu++ plus plus doesn't just uh, show up in the main screen. I have to like go into a different program and then exit out and then it'll show up, uh, which is kind of weird for me. But uh, I know, let me know if, if it happens to you as well. So watch, when I close the software, then it, it shows. Uh, it's kind of weird. So now I've uh, installed Twilight Menu++. Plus Plus. So once you boot into Twilight Menu, it actually goes into uh, NDS mode. Your, your, your 3DS goes to NDS mode. That's why uh, the video capture that I was using on the 3DS, it, it, it stops. That's why I don't have video capture of this. Uh, but now I'm in NDS mode uh, and I can play my NDS games. So uh, I have to select the ROM from the folder, which uh, I already placed the ROM uh, on my SD card uh, before recording. So you can see I have Castlevania uh, ROM already uh, put on my SD card. So now I know that the game works, uh, I'm just going to make it better. Uh, I don't want to uh, open the Twilight Menu and then selecting the ROM every single time I want to play the game. I want to make a icon on the 3DS uh, so it looks like a legit game that I could just uh, open up and it's easier and it looks nice. So uh, now I'm back in uh, the 3DS, uh, I'm going to open up NTR, that's just to, so I, I could do the video capture for you guys. Uh, I'm gonna go to, no, not FBI, I'm gonna go to the homebrew launcher and then I'm gonna open up the NDS for the program that I downloaded before. So this is a pretty simple process. Uh, you just uh, open this program and you locate the ROM that you want to make a shortcut. Uh, and then press OK and it does the rest for you just like this
so when you're playing NDS games on the 3DS, the 3DS actually uh, stretches the image because uh, the resolutions of the 3DS and the NDS are different. So, uh, so the image does look kind of blurry. Um, so here's a nice trick for you. If you open the game while pressing start or select, you actually boot into the native resolution of the NDS. And you can see uh, the image is smaller. It has some black bars. Um, if you're okay with it, the, the image actually looks uh, crispier. Uh, it looks a lot nicer this way. You can try it out. So if for some reason you would like to uninstall Twilight Menu or the games you've created a shortcut for, um, let me just go to NTR and boot up the video capture software first so you, you guys can see better on the screen. Um, you have to go to uh, the settings and then um, data management and uh, normally you'll probably think it's under 3ds but uh yeah these programs are under dsiware so you have to click into dsiware and you'll see those uh programs there and you can uninstall them there um uh, there are some folders uh on your sd card uh for the twilight menu uh if you want to clean uh delete you'll probably have to go go inside there and delete the rest I hope this video helped you if you are planning to play NDS games on your 3DS. Um, leave a comment if you have any problems. I'll try my best to uh, follow up. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.